five managers in front of a mirror. Karen, Karen, Karen. That's like scarier than Candyman. That's like really dark. That's a dark joke. That's like almost inappropriate. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Nia DaCosta, and this is Noisies, The People Versus. Candyman is a film about an urban legend and how the urban legend has affected the lives of the people in Cabrini Green, a housing project in Chicago. Um, and our main character is an artist who uncovers the legend and realizes his connection to it. I'm about to go into the comments of the trailer for my new film, Candyman. Let's see what you all said. Candy, shh, don't say that. Okay, the end. I agree. I would have loved to make that, make that movie, where it was just like, we're not gonna do that. You're right, that's silly, you're right. And then, boop, 10 seconds in, we call it a day. I remember going to see the IT remake at the theater, and the workers released a whole bunch of red balloons into the audience during the middle of the movie. Imagine if they released bees onto the audience, laugh my ass off, cry emoji, cry emoji. Nah, JK, K, 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 Maybe mirrors near the exits, laugh my ass off. <laughs> wow, is that James Cameron? I'm sorry. <laughs> Really wants this to be a 4D experience. The first thing I thought about was that gif of Oprah with bees. Have you seen it? She's like, bees! Um, so we'll see. we'll see if she's available and see what we can do, see what can be done. The woman who said, don't say that, was the smartest one in the entire trailer. That's true, because that would be me. Um, when I was dared to say the name uh, in the mirror when I was in elementary school, I said, you guys have fun. I have things to do. I have to get to math <laughs> class. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Trailer, Candyman, me, an intellectual, the hash slinging slasher. Don't try to be cute. Have you ever watched uh, SpongeBob? <gasps> yeah, but not that much. Is this related to the SpongeBob? Oh, that's so funny. Oh, be cute. That was great. Karen took the kids. Nice. Good work. Be my victim. I see what they did there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Every B in the script, whether or not it was the animal, or should I say the insect, uh, was spelled with two E's. So um, we, did, we did do that, yeah. I wonder if the guy who asks him if he's moving into the old candy factory is a grown up version of the kid, Jake, who threw the, who threw the hook onto Helen's coffin in the first candy man. He's not. Also, <laughs> that kid is, would, is only in his 30s. <laughs> so <laughs> let's relax. Coleman looks good, but you know, let's, let's, <laughs> he's not. <laughs> the girl who said, don't say that, she was in the first Candyman movie on 1992. The woman who said that, indeed, was in the original film. And you'll see how it's connected when you watch the movie. <laughs> who would do that? Cut to five white teenage girls chanting Candyman. Um, yes. Um, although I'd like to point out it's four white girls and one Asian girl. Scary scene. Background music. Say my name, say my name. So Jordan, of course, was like, you know what would be cool? Basically, like, walk me through the whole first trailer, like, before we even shot a stitch of the, of, of the movie. He was like, and then you hear, Save my derp, save my derp. And I was like, okay, we're doing that, that's great. Like, it was really, but that was, that was all Jordan. Bloody Mary exists. Candyman, I'm about to end this girl's whole career. <laughs> yeah, Candyman did kind of, like, take the mic from her at the MTV Movie Award, VMAs, and said, I am gonna let you finish, but... Black people, who would do that? White people, come on, it'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think we already have so much to be afraid of that we're just like, let's not add another thing. 57 seconds, uh, fan theory, impossible spoiler for the movie. Ooh, let's, let's walk on this tightrope. I think this character may be Jake from the first movie. Oh, I'm fine, okay. <laughs> for those who don't remember that little boy, I think in this movie when the protagonist starts changing into the new Candyman, he can be seen in the scene at two, two minutes and two seconds installing the hook. Perhaps Jake is the last of the old Candyman's congregation and the hook is part of the reason he still has power over the neighborhood. Um, all of that is incorrect. But you'll see what is correct when you see the movie. I can't wait for this to come out. It's gonna go crazy, I hope so. And yeah, shout out to all the fine and beautiful black actors and actresses being in this film. Yes, um, I love them all. Yahya, Tiana, Coleman, Nathan, Vanessa, and on top of that, all the amazing like Chicago-based actors that I got to work with. Melanin, for days. Me, sees this trailer. Damn, can't wait to see this one. Also me, avoids all mirrors and refuses to turn off the lights. <laughs> yeah, I will say there's a, there was a part of like making this movie where I was in that space. Like when I was watching um, audition tapes for some of the, the girls for the bathroom scene where they have to stay in the mirror, I would stop it before they got to the fifth, <laughs> the fifth Candyman. Because <laughs> uh, I was just like, ah! 
ah, like it's, it still freaks me out. I'm like behind the scenes, I know that it's all fake, but I'm just like, mm. so I totally understand. Thank you for the comments, everyone. I don't usually read comments, so it was cool to get a peek into <laughs> to what's been said. I thought I was gonna get dragged for filth, so I'm excited <laughs> that it's mostly people just being upset that I scared them. This was Noisy's The People Versus. I'm Nia DaCosta, and thanks for tuning in.